Hello, welcome to lesson 19, Mastering Java. Uh, here we're finally going to close the discussion on strings in Java with a very, very important topic, and that is how do we get keyboard input from a user uh, when they type a string in. We've already used the scanner method in lessons long time ago to read integers in and decimals in and things like that and use them in our program and it's made our programming richer. But what if they want to type in a sentence or what if we want to type in a word? What if we're building that database that we keep talking about over and over again? How do we read strings in from the keyboard? So it's very important to understand how to do that and we had to kind of delay discussion of that until now because you didn't even know what a string was until now. Well, it turns out the scanner method that we've been always using over and over again to get keyboard input is available to be used to read in uh, strings as well. So let me just demonstrate how to do that. Uh, if you've never used the scanner uh, method up until now, you need to go back to my previous lessons that I've, I've, I've talked a lot about what's happening here with the scanner method in previous volumes of Mastering Java. We've used it a lot. We just haven't used it uh, thus far with strings because I wanted to get up to get you up to speed in terms of what strings are. But in any case, what we always do when we use the scanner method to read the keyboard is we import uh, java.util.scanner with a capital S. And we put a semicolon there. And that is printed and typed in outside of the class definition for our particular program. So inside, there's a couple of things that we need. First of all, we need to create a string to hold the keyboard input. So I'm going to call this string, and I'm going to call it str. And I can just initialize it to whatever I want, but I'm going to initialize it to kind of an empty string. So this is double quotation with nothing in there, and that means that I've created it. I've kind of put no characters in there, but I've created the string. This is going to be what's going to hold whatever I type in. 